So very good evening to all my dear friends. Today we have yet another topper, you know, topper's talk, right? And we have a topper. He is from Coimbatore, Tamil Nadu. And she has done her education, right? Has completed her education as a right engineer from chemical engineering. And we'd like to know many of the things related to the preparation of the examination, the temperament, the attitude, right? The mindset of an engineer, how she, how she has made into the NAVAD select list yes. of 2024. So with this, I would invite, right, Yamuna in this topper stop. Yamuna, my heartiest congratulations to you for making into NAVAD 2024. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. Okay, Thank you. So as okay. far as uh, uh, preparation is considered, I have uh, after graduation, I have been preparing for the competitive exams. I have been preparing for UPSC. And for past yeah. two years, I was preparing for NABAD. And last yeah. year, I qualified fa for phase one, but I couldn't qualify phase two. So from the mark of phase two, last year, I have analyzed and a little bit I have improved where I could do. And I yeah. think that helped me in, in clearing this time. Uh, okay. Last time, phase two, uh, I think um, my mark was very low in objective. So mm -hmm. this time I worked on it. Uh, okay. Being a non-agri graduate, mm -hmm. without you, I don't think so. I will be able to uh, clear this mainly for agriculture. Because sure, it's very sure, vast. Sure. It's yes, very vast. Yeah. Your nodes mm -hmm. are very precise. And I think that helped me for agriculture and rural development. And no doubt in that, sir. Right, right. Uh, you told that you worked upon in this, right, in objective section uh, for the yes, uh, this year. So how do you worked upon? If you can decode this, it will help many of the aspirants who are yes, getting sir. low marks in the objective. So what was your way yes, out? Yes, sir. Actually, last year, I uh, my preparation time was very less. I was not very clear about the concepts. So I prepared for hardly a month. So I qualified mm -hmm. prelims, but I, I was not up to, my preparation was not up to the level for uh, main subjective. We know that mm -hmm. it is somewhat in depth. Uh, I this time I concentrated more on objective because from the last year's score, uh, my descriptive score and English score was not a high, but it was a average. So yeah. I did little bit work to improve that also. Uh, for uh, for that descriptive, what I did, I read all your FODA PDFs, sir. In that, what yeah. additionally I made is I uh, wrote extra data for each and every questions. I read what is given in the folder. In addition yeah. to that, I wrote some data and I, re I read that. That's it, sir. <laughs> English, what I did is, uh, actually, this time what I worked. I don't know how it worked because we don't know the marks yet. But <laughs> I think it might have worked. What yeah. is that? Uh, for essay, I have uh, I kept the continuity. L rather than last time, this time I was very conscious about the continuity. And mm. from the, and I had extra time lastly, so I checked upon the grammar and spelling mistakes also. And okay. for precise writing, what I did is like they will be a jumbled sentence like. So mm -hmm. my in my precise, I kept uh, the uh, rearranging of the sentences and I made it precise. So I think that might have worked sir, for that. And uh, for objective, what I did is my uh, con I was started building um, like clarity in the concepts. And I, con mm -hmm. I uh, allotted more time for objective. Like I prepared the schemes and I kept on revising the agriculture part mm -hmm. and uh, PAB. So that I think it might have worked. Okay, good, good. So uh, were you following any time schedule for all these things, miss allocating time for ESI, ARD, or it was going on a random manner? Yes, actually, uh, as I had UPC background, I didn't concentrate much upon ESI. Uh, mm -hmm. For Agri also, well, writing descriptor was not a major problem for me. Right. Uh, I was I was able to write it better. Only thing is, I I only read the, the FODA PDF once or twice, and I uh, just marked up the data alone, sir. Last in the last minute. So most of right. my focus was on uh, objective part. So fully, I I devoted my time for that. Major time was I I, I devoted for that. And for English, I let little bit work. That's all. I typed some few essays <laughs> grammarly. <laughs> and I what one thing I did for prelims, I will never miss your tests uh, for prelims. I I did I, whether I read or not, I let them all the tests and read the solution of it for prelims. Even mains objective, I haven't uh, left any of the tests. I think that right. helped me a lot. Right, right, right. Practice is very much important and as you told yes, that you didn't miss so i want to give this information to all the candidates as you said uh, you have studied or not studied but you didn't leave the test so yes, that sir, should I be didn't the leave any of the test 
especially for objective even descriptive mm. i wrote some six or seven tests only mm. and english also i wrote just for practice two or three tests mm. mm-hmm. but both prelims and mains i didn't leave any of the objective test i wrote the right. test and i learned from the answers right because you told that uh, you knew that uh, the objective marks were low last year so you didn't want to yes, write sir. take chance on that right that is very much so to analyze it. work there Mm-hmm. where is your weak area and you have to work on it as you said yes sir i, yeah. I worked it major time i allotted for that sir and uh, as far as mm-hmm. descriptive and english my mark was average last time so i little bit worked to increase it so that uh, mm-hmm. we don't get a doubt in getting final selection so i worked on it sir. right but right. i'm right. not what sure uh, how it worked till the mark is okay. yet to come i'm okay. not okay. sure but i think it work. might have worked yes definitely sir. it has worked definitely it has worked that's why you are here right now <laughs> Uh, yes, now sir. coming on to one thing you are saying that your your words also reflect yamuna that you were quite confident of the descriptive portion of the examination due to your upsc yes, and gs3 yes, background whatever you have so if you yes, can sir. throw some light because many students do not have that privilege right they do not have this descriptive yes, very sir. strong so if you can share some of your idea with your upsc experience with your nabad experience how the answers should be structured in this examination so as far as uh, if they are if they don't have a upsc background i think they should allot equal and time for that as i as i had a background so i didn't allot but it mm. def- depends on individuals ability so if they don't mm. have a, a background i think they need to work even before the prelims it's better mm. that they practice it i think a forda mm. pdf will be enough for a base I, other than that they can have some additional points so that their answer should mm. be unique right so that i think that little bit on value addition is enough other than that and questions are more predictable i feel like uh, if that poda pdf is more than enough i feel sir so mm-hmm. i think if they read that and uh, if they type and keep practicing it and many won't uh, if they have a problem in typing they should uh, practice that also but i think uh, it, the time was also sufficient for me i even i don't know typing but the time was sufficient so i think right. the practice will make them to do well it's not a problem in it i feel sir right right one more thing the practical problem that uh, we face in the examination is that uh, many student try to do a very minute study of the things right when you go to the examination hall pressure is there time constraint is there there you cannot yes, think sir. very exact right to the point answers your answer is always a little yes. bit flatter side on right examination so what so what is your thought process when you see the question and uh, how do you take up the questions actually uh, last time uh, for objective the time was i feel like the time flight that's all when i saw that i didn't i fe- felt the time was not enough so this time i was sure that i should uh, manage the time for mm-hmm. objective and fr- that tension will keep us in descriptive also sir so i think when the session is over they should forget that and move on uh, typing descriptive and i think uh, the exact point if you don't remember also i don't think it ma- it matters more mm-hmm, like mm-hmm. they might have known the content rather than being tense if they type it with calm and composed mind i think it is better sir right 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 this is because also... this time objective paper was like lengthier but rather than reading mm. the paragraph question was like little bit different so what i did is first i studied the i read the question and then went to the paragraph because last time uh, i read the paragraph and questions i couldn't manage the time so it's mm-hmm. better that they do like this because it seems like half an hour in mock test we feel the time is comfortable but there i don't think so so mm-hmm. i think it's better like they read the question first and then see the paragraph related to that right so i think because this is the golden will rule affect- Yes, so that tension will affect the next descriptive part also. In the tension mm. itself, they'll forget the points. So I think mm. the, uh, if they manage this properly, it will be easy to crack it. Right, right, right. So definitely, this will. This is a golden advice that every aspirant should adopt to it. Uh, now coming on to uh, Yamuna, the next part of the examination. You have you told these things. The interview part, right? Interview part is also yes, important, not it. and yes, sir, many of the student neglects this they do not take it seriously right and when the list come there lack of this two marks three marks in the interview so what was your take like how you prepared for the interview and how was your overall experience actually we don't know about the phase two marks so we can't be neglect as per we can we can't be neglect so what is i have a long gap so i was not uh, experienced with this so i did mock interviews i prepared it sir from that i learned mm. what are my mistakes 
and i learned what are to be learned and i what i think is like they know uh, the people they have might have seen people like us more right so i feel mm-hmm. that if you are confident and prepare well and it doesn't matter mm-hmm. whether we answer or not it how it depends mm-hmm. on how we handle it even i uh, answered most of the questions and one question i don't know i said that i have heard about it but i'm not clear about it so i'll go and refer to it later that's it sir i don't think so it was much difficult mostly we can the preparation area only the questions will be come and how we handle it the personal mm-hmm. questions how we handle it i think that matters a lot better read it and they have to be confident and if they don't have if they are not free in talking i think they need a mock interviews to make them confident mm-hmm. Right, right. So, any any question they have asked to you related to that you are engineer? Why do you want to join a part? Anything like that? Ah, uh, they didn't ask me, sir. Okay. In mock interview, they asked, but in interview, they didn't ask me like how it will help, and that's it. Mm-hmm. Okay, so this HR part, many of the students got, you didn't got, so that's you're lucky, my dear. <laughs> <laughs> yes, and they mostly what they ask is why why did you shift from your place to Chennai, and why most of the years why did you spend there? That one they asked, and. how uh, the nabad's reflection in your area the projects of yeah. nabad in your area that was that they asked and as then they asked women empowerment climate change that questions they mm-hmm. asked okay so my last question to you am not be any three yes, advice sir. would you like to give to the candidates those who are preparing this year i want to be dedicated and consistent in your preparation no matter if you complete the syllabus or not keep writing the test it will surely help you whether you complete the syllabus yes. or not this is the main thing and uh, if uh, based on individual's ability uh, w- work on it whether you are we can descriptive or objective work on mm. it and if you do that i think it's easy to crack it's not a big deal <laughs> right so very much one of the i think best interviews in a short time you told many of the important thing that will definitely right help the future aspiring students thanks a lot for yamuna in this Thank topper stop I wish you Thank all you, the sir. best luck for your all the future endeavors. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. Thank you, okay. sir.